Dance is a choreographic sound installation. The character of Hermes is both strong and fragile. On one side I have this powerful and concrete techno-oriented sub-world, and on the other hand I have these fragile instruments of 18th century that are extremely vulnerable. When they started talking to each other, I realized they were supporting each other. Vibrant element in every song that creates a certain warm temperature and um, gives a nice poetic feeling to this cold and industrial environment. That this technical architecture of Hermes became very elastic. The music is like a frozen architecture in a way. When you record music, then it becomes like a, a shape of sound that kind of gets captured forever, like a museum piece. And Hermes to me has a lot of qualities that are architectural. What I normally do is uh, try to reflect the sound of bassoon, like to, to make the bassoon as a singer, then I'm kind of becoming an instrument. Lots of scenic stories are being told in the songs of Hermes, but none of them are giving actually the clue to understand what is actually really happening in that very moment where I think the song is being completed when your own imagination gets activated and then you complete the song with your own fantasy. You can actually um, make peace with your own fears. This is what this album does to me. We had the potential to perhaps maybe move things a little bit in a different way, maybe create a little crack in the art that can shape things a little different after this. Sometimes we need to give it a start point, like planting a seed and then you don't know 500 years later there's going to be the largest tree of, of the earth. As if there are no boundaries and be able to travel between territories and be home to wherever we land. And this is what I try to do with my music.